G'day everyone, welcome to this really quick session on the AZ104 exam overview. I'm just testing out something that hopefully you all like. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these. Really just going to be covering off how to quickly look at each exam's overview and specifically today we're going to go over the AZ104 exam where you can find training on it um, and a way that you can figure out what you need to, look, to learn as part of that particular exam. So uh, first of all, shout out to any of my System Center folks out there. I love this t-shirt, it's one of the old school t-shirts. But what I tend to do when I first look at any exam is I first go and research that exam. So if you just go into whatever search engine you want to and type in the name of the exam, in this case we just type in AZ-104 exam, uh, usually you'll find a lot of great stuff out there from the community. What we're looking for today is specific, specifically the exam overview on the Azure Docs or the Microsoft Docs page, so exam AZ-104 Azure Administrator. Um, I've already pre-opened it and this is what you'll tend to find, just an overview of what the exam is and a lot of information on it. So you can also find out um, if there's any changes that are going to happen to the exam and when those changes will be. Um, you'll also get an a bit of information on the passing score, for example, and then a little bit more about exam scores on this page as well. The area that I tend to go to as well as part of my initial research within an exam is I'll scroll all the way down and you'll find other things like how you can schedule your exam as you can see here with someone like Pearson for example. Outside of that, I start off in the skills measured category. So in skills measured, you're going to find what's called the objective domains. In this case, we can see that the AZ-104 exam has got, what have we got, one, two, three, four, five objective domains. And not every objective domain is built equally. Of course, we can see here, each one of these have got a different percentage, which means depending on which exam you get on the day you sit the exam, you may get some questions more weighted to one versus another. So for example, I might get 15 to 20% of my questions on uh, manage Azure identities and governance versus maybe only 10 to 15% on monitor and backup Azure resources. It doesn't necessarily mean that I should not study, monitor and backup Azure resources. It just means you will probably get more questions on that other uh, area. So really hone in and concentrate on that one as well. What I then tend to do is go to download exam skills outline. Very, very important thing to do. So if we click on that, I'm going to right click and open that in a new tab. This will open up a PDF. Okay, so now that's opened up, which is great. Gives us the same information as the main web page, but the main differentiator with this is it will also give you specific details about what each objective domain has got. So we can see inside here, for example, under Manage Azure Identities and Governance, we've got a Manage Azure Active Directory objects. So one of those things would be to create users and groups. Now, if I didn't know how to do that, I could easily take those words, for example, and one of the best things I usually find to do is I can go in to a browser, type in create. Now, I've forgotten what that objective actually was, so let's just go back to that really quickly. In fact, let's just highlight that, probably simpler. Copy it, go to my browser, and I usually just put Azure, create users and groups, and let's put docs at the end, Azure at the front and docs at the end, then I hit enter. So one of the first things we do see is that actually points out to one of the areas that I'm going to talk to you about, which is Microsoft Learn. And I don't want to talk about that just, just yet. I want to talk about anything you might find in Azure Docs. If I scroll down a little bit further, you'll see that I've got created, I've created a basic group and add members inside docs.microsoft.com. Now, one of the reasons why it's worth looking at Docs outside of Learn is it's another uh, piece of information that you can read up on and usually they'll go into a lot more depth so if you want to try and really find out about a, a, a particular area you can find that in docs. Uh, one of the other things is it may also have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this so I'm just going to scroll through this so you can have a quick look at it but uh, do it in your own time outside of this. You can see this has got some basic information on how I can sign to the Azure portal and actually go and create a basic group and add members. So really good way for you to also 
uh, get some practice in with uh, if you've got an Azure subscription, for example. Now, one of the other things that we can find in docs, I'm just going to scroll down and up. I should be able to find them here. Um, sometimes we have also have quick starts and tutorials. Now, the quick starts uh, in this example, it's doing things like view your groups with assigned members and access the portal and create a tenant. So these are just designed to be very quick, easy, step-by-step -step guides on how to do a particular task. Tutorials inside Azure Docs usually go into a, a little bit more information, but a great resource for you to use. So make use of it, essentially, is what I'm saying to you all. Now let's go back inside here. And, and I would tend to, after going through something like Learn Modules, which we'll look at right now, I'd come back here and I'd look at, is there anything I didn't quite understand as part of that training? Whether it was uh, free Learn training or whether it was instructive Learn training for example. And I will just run through this and make sure that I'm confident that I know um, most if not all the topics before I would normally attempt an exam. Okay, um, I'm going to come out of that and we're going to come back into the Azure overview. Now if we scroll down every single page, oh, I believe all of our pages now are not necessarily um, every single exam does immediately, especially when it comes out in beta, but um, every single uh, exam should eventually or will have a learning path that's available inside Microsoft Learn. And if you've never used Microsoft Learn before, it's free training from Microsoft uh, that is aligned with each of the certifications. In this case, you can see we've got a learning path for AZ-104, and you can just click on this, open up, um, sign in with your personal address, uh, outlook.com, hotmail.com, for example, um, and then it'll keep track of what you're learning on and also give you, it also gamifies, it gives you points based on what you've finished. But the idea is that this will align with your objective domain and then hopefully it'll give you the confidence to then go and sit the exam. So that is a really great way for you to start learning using Microsoft Learn. Outside of that, you can also click on instructor-led paid uh, training, for example. Uh, click on these and your local, part, uh, local Microsoft partners Training partners might be able to help you out with that if that's something you want to pursue as well. If you are an ESI, which is an Enterprise Skills Initiative customer um, that works with the team that I'm part of, um, you could also go in there and book yourself in for some instructor-led training that uh, one of our awesome trainers around the world can help you with. Or maybe if, um, if I'm lucky, you might end up on one of my courses as well, as I still tend to teach uh, every couple of months. I'm just quickly going to go back to Learn just so you can see what it looks like. Click on AZ-104 prerequisites for Azure Administrators. That opens a new tab for me. And you'll see it lists absolutely everything inside there with all the prerequisites. And I can click on Start or Save and that will allow me to save that in my particular Learn profile. Okay, so the last two things I'm going to point out. Um, I wrote an article a while ago that gave a bunch of exam tips that are available for you to go through on LinkedIn. I'll link that below. Uh, definitely worth you taking a few minutes just to read through that. Um, it's got a bunch of tips that I do, a bunch of tips on uh, the types of questions you might get in uh, Microsoft exams, uh, for example, multiple choice, and et cetera. Uh, other things like uh, different uh, ways to think about approaching the exam. Another really good resource is a podcast that two of our awesome trainers uh, did with Liberty Munson. Um, you can see that in the visual right here called Graphs of the Cloud with Mongo and Connor. Conga, sorry, that's uh, Liberty Munson is our psychometrician who works with our exams. I'll also link this in the channel below. If you found this video valuable, then let us know in the comments and we can do some more in the future or similar type of videos in the future. Hope you have a happy new year and hope 2022 is a good one for everyone. See you everyone and good luck with your exams.